back to my YouTube channel. It has been a while. <laughs> we're back and it's pretty exciting because we're in the NT. Not bad. Hello little rock goat. This is my first time in the Northern Territory. It's cold. <laughs> Left Townsville Tuesday morning and got to Alice Springs Wednesday night and now we're just having a chill day exploring. My nose is like red because it's so cold. <laughs> I was pretty happy with the way the car went. I think between the car setup and the trailer, we're sitting it over four and a half tons. I haven't found a way bridge yet, but that's my guesstimate. I'm gonna try and climb down this <laughs> mountain. Oh. Yeah, so where we're camped is pretty cool, surrounded by this big rock. Cool paintings around the other side. I'll show you guys that. You coming down? Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this bit. I've been sitting here so long now, I don't remember how I got here. <laughs> You're like that meme where the guy comes home and his dog's on the roof. Kevin! How did you get there? Yeah. Is that comfy, Mose? Is that comfy? Oh, those holes on the wall are making oh, I don't like holes. Don't look at the holes. Don't touch the holes. No, don't. Stand away from the holes. What's that shadowy place over there? That is Townsville. You must never go there, Simba. <laughs> Stop breaking the place. Okay, so I'm back at camp now. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I picked up the new X1N from Patriot, swapped it out from the X2. It's pretty much the same trailer with a bit of layout, heaps more storage, which is what I needed. <laughs> so yeah, I'll take you around and we can suss it out. It's covered in dirt, but that's, that's how it should be. Okay, so this is the camp setup. And I've just taken it off the trailer so we can sort of walk in between instead of having to walk all the way around. Got my shower, which runs off gas a hot shower. This is a new Pecor awning. So we have a sink now, hot water, Dometic fridge, airbags, a Dometic stove top, which has little wind guards and has ignited. The other one you had to light with a lighter. This is like a dimmable light. Keeps more storage in the back. Drawer. Camera here, charging, dry food here, that's washing the same shower that was in the X2. Um, the Dometic rooftop tent is pretty good, it's just much smaller than the dynamic one, but it is electric, so you press one button and it goes up. <laughs> it's pretty cool. These are easy anchors that I've been using for years. They can drill into rocks, pretty much. This is my new grab me gear bag for rubbish. Got the Dometic upright. We went over pretty corrugated roads, like nothing fell out, the eggs are not broken. But I feel like there's just not enough shelving in here. In a normal fridge you can like pile things up on top of each other, where this like you kind of can't. <laughs> Old boy blanket. <laughs> it is like so warm up here. This is a spot to be. My nose is still so red. <laughs> the first big trip in a long time, so it's kind of like a testing trip to see like what's gonna fail. Just seeing how the trailer works with everything, how we go towing, what fuel and everything is like. Look at this sleepy boy. Yeah, 
that's a pretty cool sunset. I didn't think I've seen a sunset like that for a very long time. Daylight will reconcile the dead and the gone. Let the king. here in the sun. You're actually a red dog. Red dog. This is the first day with the flies that everybody warned us about. <laughs> Don't eat the flies then. I'm gonna try and capture the corrugations. <laughs> it has begun. <laughs> Not today. Both of them or one? One. The rubber's still there? No. Okay, so we've got this little bit of rubber here. We've got the knife. <laughs> this is a good bit here. Cut the rubber like this. But I like this beanie. I got the wrong one. I got you one. Just for you. It has your name on it. Maybe this is mine. It's not. Now I've got beanie hair. So rude. That was how long it took on the induction for you. Okay, we'll pull that six minutes. Two minutes. morning guys so it is Sunday morning it is almost 7 and it's pretty dark we've just driven up the track because the, the racetrack goes across one of the roads so we've gotten up early before they close it and now we're gonna cook some Milo It is 7.30 and the sun is up. My car just didn't start just then. Something is draining off it. Managed to get it started with my little jump starter. That's from perception lighting. Yeah, that was a massive help. Otherwise, we would have been kind of stuck here on the side of the track. I don't think anybody's carrying jumper leads. Get 
getting excited. Yeah. to rain. I'm still happy with this awning but these quick release when the wind picked up they have so much movement in them that I think we're gonna have to hard mount the awning to the canopy or make these out of metal of some kind because the plastic just has far too much movement. Um, the awning's good in the wind but yeah that pivot point is My camera's gonna die, but there's nearly at the end of the bikes and it started raining. But yeah, the awning situation. <laughs> have an awning, can't use it anymore because have no mounts. It's very disappointing. Gonna have to fix that when we get home. We're probably gonna head back to camp soon. my child. It's a new peak awning. We've only had an issue with it snapping this end bit but there was another one that did the exact same so I'm not blaming my car. <laughs> yeah it's much quicker because it's got magnetic poles. I'm gonna show you the grab me gear bag and how dust proof it is. <laughs> new awning spot. <laughs> I think it's been pretty good on the trip. And he sort of knows to stay in the general vicinity. We're just packing up to leave to go into town to do washi, wash the car and check for damages. And then watch the end of the race. Then we're gonna try and head back to Barclay Homestead. Running through the last of my thoughts. Standing on the edge of stuff the devil's marble. Through the light. 
It's just so much cooler here at sunset. Result of breaking down rather than a building up of rocks. Oh, they're called cottage loaves. Hey guys, we left Alice Springs about midday on Monday, stopped at Barclay Homestead for the night and then got back here Tuesday night. But I've washed all the cars now and like cleaned them all out. Sorry for the disjointed vlog, I was trying to just enjoy being there. There were so many people filming, but if you go check out um, Patriot's channel, they will be having some amazing footage going up. The next uh, video you will see will be on the 60. Thank you so much for watching my video. It feels good to be back. Really, really excited about this car. It's so nice. I can't express how nice it is. But if you like this video, please comment. I don't, I don't really look at like, I don't know what they do. But if you comment, every comment I read and it means so much. Something real from a human is always nice to read online. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. No, I'm really serious. Like I will come back this time. I promise.